That smoke is actually forcing some flights to be canceled out west. Another blow for airlines that are already facing a dire situation. The industry received $25 billion in federal aid in March. And now airline CEOs are pleading with the White House for another bailout, saying tens of thousands of jobs could disappear if they don't receive help by the end of the month. Joining us now from Reagan National Airport outside of Washington, D.C., is Doug Parker, the chairman and CEO of American Airlines. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's dig in. I'm great. Let's dig in here. Yesterday, you and CEOs of several other carriers met with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. What specifically are you asking this administration and lawmakers in order to stay afloat and really avoid significant job losses in less than two weeks? We're asking them to do their job. Uh, We're asking them to get a COVID relief package done. There's bipartisan support for our people um, to get Uh, The payroll support plan approved, uh, which will allow us to continue to pay all of our people so that our team will be here uh, when the country can uh, to help the country recover. Um, Like I say, enormous support for that provision, uh, but it needs a mechanism to be approved. It needs the covid relief package to be approved. So we were we were asking uh, Chief of Staff Meadows uh, to to help us get that done. Today, we're talking to Speaker Pelosi on the same point. Uh, We just need our elected officials to come together and get a package done. If we, I know you've crunched the numbers. If we zoom in here, I know you've taken aggressive cost-cutting measures, but if an extension of the payroll support program, it's an additional $25 billion, as you say, doesn't materialize, what's the forecast come the morning of October 1st? How many American Airlines jobs and, uh, and routes are we, are we in danger of being cut here? Yeah, 19,000 American Airlines employees will be furloughed on October 1st if that happens. That understates the situation. Uh, another 12,000 people will be are taking leaves, uh, so they won't be working. They're just doing what they can to mitigate the furlough impact and, and uh, keep their health benefits. That's happening throughout the industry, so hundreds of thousands of people are going to be out of work on October 1st. Uh, what that means is service to small communities will be discontinued as well, uh, and it means that as the economy recovers, uh, we won't be able to do what the provision is designed to do, which is keep the infrastructure in place to help the economy rebound, to keep airlines flying. Our people are out there right now taking care of, uh, of uh, keeping our country moving uh, when much of the country is paralyzed. They're out there putting their uniforms on, going to work every day, making sure uh, that our country continues to move. They're the last people uh, that should be impacted by this. It's simply not fair. Like I say, there's complete bipartisan support. Uh, we just need people to do what's right. I know we're better than this. Uh, and our people deserve better. Doug, here's the challenge. It's been reported that American received just over $5 billion of of aid granted earlier this year. This is kind of a a time of reckoning for so many industries. We we were just talking about restaurants yesterday. We've talked about retail. How do you defend against any criticism that you're requesting more when, frankly, a lot of people are struggling? Uh, We know that, Uh, and by no means are we suggesting uh, that the airline employees deserve help when, and the rest of the country doesn't. Uh, this this pandemic's affecting millions of Americans. Uh, and for the same reason uh, that uh, we should get COVID relief passed uh, to help those millions of Americans get through this. In the case of the airlines, uh, we do indeed provide some critical infrastructure to a recovery, uh, to making sure that as, as the economy rebounds, airlines are here flying to help that, to help the economy rebound. Uh, and in our business, uh, once we start furloughing people and taking them off the job and getting you know, people like pilots out of training, uh, it'll be several months before we can get them back running again. So again, there's, everyone understands that actually uh, here in town. Uh, enormous bipartisan support for our provision. Uh, we just now need uh, people to come together, the Republicans and the Democrats to come together and do what they're supposed to do and get this package passed. And if it's not passed by October 1st, all those bad things happen, which no one in town tells us they want to see happen. They just can't figure out how to come together and make a compromise. And the reality is holidays are coming around the corner. There are a lot of us who want to see our families and we want to fly again and we want it to be safe. So I know there's a lot, a lot on your plate this morning. Doug Parker, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much.